how we were buried in ice, Joseph. Uh, there was just so much of it, several inches. I remember driving out, covering the, the news out in the Columbia River Gorge, and it was just thick with ice, and they're really difficult out there on Highway 14. Well, today, yeah. out in my backyard, Tulips, tulips are, are coming up and actually sunny starting and nice. to bloom. Yeah. yeah, sunny, nice and warm. This weekend's making up for that span of time that we had last February. It started off with cold air, moved to snow, and then it went to ice. I mean, it was really quite the weather story. We were very busy here, and I know a lot of folks were dealing with that for multiple days. 11th through the 14th, over at the Portland Airport, we had 10.1 inches of snow. Most of that came on the Saturday, and then on the Friday there, where we had two record snow events. And then we hit uh, on that Thursday, February 11th, so going backwards there, uh, we did have a little bit of snowfall. Most of that ice, though, came on that Sunday. All right, so here's a look at some of the ice storm totals back to that storm. I mean, Oregon City, some locations about two inches, but Oregon City had at least an inch and a half there. Downtown, you can see uh, the total there as well as the airport. So a little bit more down to the south. As far as this list goes, and then uh, you head into areas like Portland, we still had some very thick ice. I mean, look at that scene right there. This is one of the most busiest and demanding ice storms that we've had on record as far as power outages, the damage, the money that's all involved to repair this. That's February 2021. We had a little ice storm in December 2016, but you probably recall the one in January 2004, which was also equally very busy. All right, tonight, here's Mount Hood Meadows, 40 degrees. I just love watching the scene of some night skiing and snowboarding. Seems to be just a blast up there right now. No snow today, at least uh, no fresh snow, but we're going to get some uh, snow moving on in, some accumulations here as we head into Monday. Tonight, just high pressure over the top of us. Current conditions in the mid to upper 50s, not bad. Some 40s overnight tonight. I have our temperatures dropping down to about 37, 38, somewhere right around that mark, upper 30s for tonight. Tomorrow, the coast is going to begin really nice. Some sunshine clouds starting to roll on in as we go through the day. Definitely by the evening and late hours, it's going to be pretty cloudy. I do expect some rain starting to pick on up, probably somewhere close to 9, 10, 11 p.m. tomorrow. And the wind will start to shift out of the south 10 to 20 miles per hour. So the wind will definitely start to increase too. Here in the valley, I have 60s, maybe some mid 60s out there. Once again, mostly sunny day. We start to see the wind go from offshore, the east, more so out of the south as we go into tomorrow. And that goes for areas around Portland. Near 70 degrees for Madras. Wow, been the same. Nice outdoor day. Pendleton pushing about 60 degrees into the gorge. Some 50s. Gets a little cloudy. Maybe some rain late at night for the western gorge. And then the mountain forecast. I do have some sunshine. The wind picking up about 25 mile per hour wind gusts out of the west. Futurecast will help show some of that cloud coverage. Not tonight. Early tomorrow, maybe some high thin clouds through the day. Here's 8 p.m. It gets pretty cloudy out there. Maybe a couple isolated showers there for the coast. Maybe a little bit of rain by early Monday morning for the valley and the gorge. And we start seeing that snow increase and then just more mountain snow as we go through the day on Monday heading into Tuesday. So Monday is going to be the busiest day. Still pretty cloudy. Maybe a few isolated showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs back into the 50s. Not a busy week, Wayne, but at least closer to average. A little bit cooler up on the mountain and we get that rain and that mountain snow on Monday. A little closer to normal. All right. Thanks, Joseph.